Oh, Dookies, Andy Lippy here, back with another OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at a little tool that I found recently that is awesome. Hey, oh, Dookies, Andy Lippy here, back with another OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at a tool that I have just recently discovered. Hey, oh, Dookies, Andy Lippy here, back with another OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at a tool that I recently found. But I am using the same webcam for all three of these. I don't have an RTX, don't have anything, just using a piece of software. It's absolutely beautiful. How to green screen your cam without any other tools just just you don't i'm using logitech c920 guys logitech c920 this is green screen let's go put rock for the stone <laughs> Right, so this is a basic application that you're going to get installed onto your computer. It's not that hardware intensive, if I'm totally honest. I've only played with it a few times on stream, so I can't really give you an exact amount. But if my PC runs it, as you guys know, I don't have the best PC at all. Yours should run it. I'm using an R9 290 graphics card, all right? Just, yeah, this is what you're dealing with. This is why sometimes we're out of sync in the talking, sometimes we're not. So we're just going to download it from this website just here. This is on GitHub. This is from Ryan Beals. Absolute amazing job on this. You can download it for, for Mac and Windows. So just get it downloaded using the, the .exe file that you can see just here. Just click on that, get that downloaded. I would recommend as well getting yourself the virtual cam filter as well. This is by Exceldro. There's a video just here that you can see with uh, this lovely handsome chap on it there oh i look so young don't i it feels like yesterday uh, and download that that will give you the most out of this plugin because it means that you'll be able to continue using your camera normally like i am now but also create a green screen camera for another scene without having to like use multiple cameras and stuff like that you, you'll understand what i mean when we get into it so we're just going to say keep down here in the bottom left and we're just going to run the .exe file, press windows to run anyway, it's all cool, we're fine. And then we're just going to press next, 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 it's just going to install it all uh, and that is it pretty much, it's super easy to get going. And here we go, we're on. So it comes up and it'll start with this little, uh, you can see the, the cool dude here with the glasses. Uh, this little interface comes up at the bottom. I'm just going to open up OBS for now as well. I want to open into this one. Hopefully there's no secret projects that I'm working on at the moment since it's my developer one. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so this is the kind of little system that you can see down here. We can select what camera we want to use, as you can see just here. Sometimes I find that the menu gets a little bit sticky like that, and it auto-hides. When I restart my computer, it seems to work fine the second time. But if you click and press down on your arrow at the same time, um, it'll switch to a different source just here, and then the menu will work properly. Does that make sense? So, like press down at the same time it's like we're glitching into the matrix i don't know uh, and we could choose a different input source so i'm going to use obs virtual camera and because i've got a virtual camera plugin you can see that i'm already down at the bottom here so i can move it around by clicking around here I, I can move it anywhere on screen so you can see that i'm actually in this frame right now and the reason why you're seeing that is because if i go to my film in obs this is a bit matrixy and like repeated sorry uh, and i go to studio mode a second and go to my camera here right click and go on filters you'll see i've got the virtual camera on just here that is the plugin from exceldro that i spoke about this allows me to use my camera multiple times uh, without with different effects on each one which is awesome so i'm just gonna close that down and go back into the other obs so now that I've got my webcam, I've got all sorts of different settings on here that you can mess around with. Transparent, so it just leaves it on and it's transparent. But if I add this into OBS, I'm just going to create a new scene. We'll call it scene two, that's fine. And we're going to add a source. We have to use a window capture. So I'm going to call this, um, I'll just call it Chroma Bro, just so I know what it is. And you can see, it, because it's a display capture, it's capturing that, that text and everything like that on there as well. So to hide this text, we just press press on this main menu here uh, on, the, on the left, and then we just press S, and that'll show and hide the overlay anytime that we need to change any settings. Uh, I would suggest fiddling about with the settings to get the right thing with the model, the multiply, but it should work exactly like, as you're seeing here. Again, I'm not using a fancy webcam, I'm using a C920. So I'm going to use S to, to hide that, and you can probably see I'm already here, like so. But 
there is an issue. If I add in a color source into OBS, you'll see exactly what I mean. Because we're doing a window capture, uh, and you can probably see it just on the right here, we're actually not cut out of the image. It's a black background. So if I go to uh, color source, and I'm just going to add a color source in and put it on the lower layer. So I'm just going to press save there, press OK. I'm going to put it on the lower layer. So you can see I've got a black background, which I'm not transparent. Do you know what I mean? There's no transparency there. If I put that on a scene, you're going to see the whole black border. So to do this, we click on Chroma Bro and press S. Pull up the menu and you'll get a transparent. We can do a video background, um, which is the whole normal background. We can also change it to green or even to blue, like so. Just like that. Press green. We'll leave it on green and press S to, to hide it again. And what we need to do is crop around the edges. So now you've got this. You can put it anywhere you want. I, I usually hide it down in the bottom bottom right hand corner of the, the screen there. Because it's out of the way. Or you can put it anywhere you want. Just anywhere that you can grab it. But if you minimize it, it will freeze the video feed. Okay, so it will freeze the video feed. Uh, I think if you start it in with admin privileges, that doesn't happen. But I usually just like to leave it up like that because then I can change the, the settings of it at any point. So using the, the old space and zoom technique, we need to crop around the edges. So now I'm holding alt on these red squares. And we're just going to crop the black background out so we can't see it. All right, so... And then now, you've probably guessed it, we're going to right click and we're going to go to filters. We're going to add a filter and we're going to add a chroma key. Press OK and we should be able to just press close because it'll automatically do all the settings there. And there we have it. I am completely cut out. Again, fiddling with the settings, you'll get different results. But to say you don't need an RTX card or like I say, I'm running a Logitech C920 and an R9290 graphics card. Like, this is pretty impressive, okay? It's it's not hammering my computer resources or anything like that because I'm filming right now. Uh, so you can resize this, move it anywhere. Obviously, there is a, a little loss in quality. But again, changing the settings in the menu down here will be able to kind of get the right thing for you. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Then you can start doing all your trippy effects if you wanted to and use different um, filters. Like we've got the uh, repeating effect from Exceldro, the, the recursion effect. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And you can fiddle about with this if you want to. And basically just jazz up your stream. So if I do this, we'll change that over there. We'll change this over to here and we'll inverse it. We can start getting some weird and wacky, wonderful things like this. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so you, you get the picture, you get the picture. You put that on the scene, you get different effects again. And that's pretty much how to green screen yourself in basically any computer, any situation. Like, it's so easy to do. You guys are going to love it. I hope you do anyway. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to support me, these videos take me a while to research and create, then consider joining Patreon or becoming a channel member here on YouTube. Links are in the description. And put your rock in the stone. I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.